is Elizabeth Ledove and I'm in the Communication and Science Disorders program. I originally was interested in psychology and Emerson was the only one I applied to for Communication and Science Disorders studies. Psychology you can do basically only in research or be a therapist and I wanted to do none of that and I honed in on what I really liked about the psychology aspect and it was communication and how communication could, could go wrong. Um, whether it's with a person who has experienced traumatic experience with anything or just a child who's delayed in speech, anything of that nature. So this program really struck out to me. At the Robbins Speech Center Clinic, which is on campus in 216 Trauma, we get to look through a one-way mirror and watch the graduate students or the clinicians who work there give a session. There's only 10 classes, so it's really easy just to talk about all of them. And they're not to take lightly, even though there's only 10. They're very intense, but they're fun at the same time. We take language acquisition, which I um, stated before, which is basically how children acquire language, anatomy and physiology, which is basically from the diaphragm up and you learn about how um, speech works and how all the muscles relate to each other. You are also required to take one sign language class. I'm taking survey of speech right now, which is just a generalization of all the speech disorders you could see. You can either, when you're done with your undergrad, you can either go as a speech pathologist or an audiologist. So. Um, audiology is really intense and you learn all about the ear and all about um, hearing loss, whether it's sensory neural or conductive. Then there's survey of language course, which is just overview of language disorders. You take um, oral rehabilitation, speech science, which is basically the physics of how speech works. Things that I'm involved in on campus are the National Student Speech, Language, and Hearing Association. I'm actually the president this year, so that's really exciting. And it's a great way to find out what's in um, the communication disorders world outside of Emerson. I'm also part of um, Best Buddies, which is a national nonprofit organization where you get paired with um, a buddy, so to say, who has um, mentally disabled or are mentally challenged, and you see them twice a month and you become their friend. So I go to all of the events. Um, when they put things together. I always have a spot, soft spot for infants and children, so I always gravitate towards those type of disorders, feeding and swallowing disorders, or you know, neonatal problems. You could do something with neurological damage, all relating to speech, hearing, and signs, anything. You can do so much with this field, and even if you don't want to become a speech pathologist, having a communication science disorders undergrad degree, you can go anywhere within the healthcare field. So that's really great. And knowing that I have those options is amazing. I can do basically whatever my mind sets me to.